Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, thanks for watching this video. My name is Buck Parker. I'm a board certified general surgeon. And in this video, I want to talk about is it okay or should you go to school, uh, med school, kind of later in life, I guess you'd say. So I get this question a lot. I thought I'd give you my two cents on it. I uh, am 43. I finished residency at 35. So uh, I'll just tell you quickly, my timeline was uh, I went to uh, college. I did, I finished college in five years. I took a year, I think about a year and a half off between college and med school. Ended up going to med school and then med school's uh, four years, obviously. I took a year um, off in med school to study for the USMLE step one because I was at a Caribbean school, many of you guys know that. I was an IMG, so I really I knew that I need needed to do really well uh, on the USMLE step one, so I took a year to study for that uh, outside of the normal uh, med school. So I, my med school was five years, and then I did a residency, which was five years, and I did a research year in that residency, which was so that made it six. So my timeline is I finished uh, high school in 1992 and I finished residency in 2010. So that's definitely more than the usual, but you know, not, it's not, I didn't start med school at, you know, 35 or 40 or something like that. So mine is uh, a little bit delayed. And I can tell you that, you know, it's certainly tough to, when you get on the tail end of that. And it, uh, I, I want to also mention that, you know, I did, I finished residency at 35, but I, you know, took a job initially in my hometown, which uh, was not uh, a great, probably, probably wasn't a great idea to begin with, but I did not make um, hardly any money. And um, maybe I made like 60000 or $80,000 a year. Um, I was putting most of that back into my business, so I was really pretty much struggling for a few years, about three to four years. Uh, after I finished that, I um, got a new job, a regular salary job. wasn't anything special. wasn't making, you know, a good, you know, twice as what everybody else makes or anything. So it was just a regular salaried surgeon job, average run of the mill salary. So and that was like at four, basically like 40, 41. Or now about 40, yeah, about 40. You know, really, I waited almost until 40 to have a real, real job, <clears throat> if you want to call it that. It's definitely tough to do that. You know, you see everybody else doing well, and they're much younger, and you know, they got a house, and they got a car, and they got kids, and uh, you think everything is hunky dory with them, and you're like, oh man, I really screwed up. I should have done, uh, I should have done that, and all that stuff. But for me, it was my timeline. You know, and I think that's one thing you got to think about is. What is your timeline? During college, I um, screwed around, right? So I got to have fun in college. I did my own thing after college for a little bit. I took some time off in med school. Uh, I was studying a lot, but I also got to, you know, do things that other medical students didn't get to do. So you have to kind of think about those things too. Some of those folks that go right through, um, they do finish early, but they may not have the uh, experiences that you'll have when you're younger if you're able to do those things or if you decide a little bit later. You can get money, you cannot get time back, right? So you can always make more money but you cannot get your time back. So when you're 21 and you know you never go out or you never do the things that you wanted to do when you're 35 or when you're 32 and you finish residency, you're still you still can't go back to 21. You know you just can't do it. So it's it's a tough decision, but I think it's individual. I do have a couple friends who finished residency at 53, so that's pretty late. But he was also a general surgeon in another country, and then came to our country was um, a scrub tech for a while and then became then got into residency and finished at 53. I had another friend finish residency um, I think he was like 45. You know it's all it's all up to you it's it's not anything I don't think you should think of it as I'm too old or um, it's too late for me but really are you being called to that profession for some reason. When you're young you sometimes like I'm you know I'm 43 now I think back to when I was when I wanted to start med school, you know, you're not, you're not even sure anymore why you wanted to do that, right? And I feel fortunate that my younger self did that, but it's tough to pinpoint, you know, what exactly drove me to do those things. You know, we don't know why anyone does anything 
is it something internal or is it external? And we think it's internal, right? Is it is it just a, a bunch of marketing bullshit <laughs> that we're being pounded with all the time, or is it is it innate? You know, I have some little one and a half year old nephews, and I've got a five year old and a three year old niece, and they all have completely different personalities. It was right from the get go. So we're hardwired with something, and you know, it's probably a good idea to listen to that, whatever inside is telling you. You know, if you're being told by yourself that you really need to do that, and you're a little bit older, then I'm not sure you'll be happy with yourself if you don't do it, you know, when you're 70, 80. That was a big driver for me. I, I never, or it still is, I, I always think, you know, am I gonna regret this if I don't do it? If I don't put in the work now, if I don't commit to it, am I gonna regret this later? So. I think that's a good thing to think about, maybe put things in perspective for you. All right, well, I hope you liked that video. If you like these, subscribe and maybe share it with a friend, that'd be awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.